A particle moves along the x-axis axis so that its acceleration at any time t is given by 2t minus 7. If the initial velocity of the particle is 6, at what time t during the interval from 0 to 4 inclusive is the particle farthest to the right? So the first thing you want to do, you want to find your velocity function because you're given acceleration. And you know that the initial velocity at time 0 is given as 6, okay, according to this uh, phrase. Now, you know that the velocity function can be found by the initial velocity being added to the integral from 0 to t of the acceleration, okay? So now, um, we know that uh, it's going to be equal to 6, right, because that's the initial, plus, and we know this guy is equal to t squared, right, because um, the power rule says that the power increases by 1, and also you're going to divide it by the resulting power, right, so 2 over 2, basically 2 over 2 t squared, and notice that we can ignore the t and 0 because that's not going to change the result. That's the good news, right? Because if you evaluate it from 0 to t, you will get t squared minus 0, so that's t squared, right? So we can disregard this part and move on. And then minus 7t. And notice that the constant does not need to be added because we already have taken care of that, right? It's already 6. And again, we can disregard the t and 0 because that's not going to change the results, which we can just leave it like this. So now this is going to be t squared minus 7t plus 6, right? So that is the velocity function that we found. Now, the next part is to understand what the particle being, uh, is being at the right mean. So when the particle is at the right, it means that the position value will be positive, right? The position value of the particle will be positive. Now, when, you bring, when you're being asked to find the particle farthest to the right, right, that means that the greatest position value, greatest position value is being asked, right? So you have to find the t value, the time at which there is the greatest position value, right? So naturally, you don't have the position function yet, so you need to find your position function. So we need to take the integral one more time to find the x of t, which uh, signifies the position function. So we're going to take the, the uh, integral of this again. So that's t squared minus 7t plus 6 dt. So that's going to be equal to what? 1 third t to the third. Write this out. So minus 7 to t squared plus 6t. Okay, plus a constant, which is in this case 0, the initial position, right? So x of 0 is 0. When it's not given to you, it's assumed that it's 0. All right, so now look what happens. This is the position function. So now let's evaluate this position. Let's evaluate this position at all the times and see which one, which t value, which time value gives you the greatest position value. And that will be the time at which the particle will be farthest to the right. Okay, and again, the right, this, this means that the position is greater than zero, right? It's going to be positive. All right, so x of zero. x of zero will be, basically, these two will be zeros, and all of these will be zeros, right? So x of zero is zero, and uh, that's uh, what we thought. The initial position is zero. Uh, okay, now x of 1, now we're checking from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 4, right? We're going to check 5 t values, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all right? And then we're going to compare them. Now x of 1 will be what? 1 third, right? One, 1 to the third is just 1, so 1 third remains. Minus 7, 2, because 1 squared is just 1, doesn't change that. And then... better, and then plus 6, right, because t uh, substituted at 1 will be 1 times 6, right, so that, that should give you what, 
we need the LCD of six, right? So that's going to be what? That's going to be two minus 21 plus 36 divided by six. Okay. So that's going to be 17. So it's 36 minus 21. That's 15 plus two. So 17 over six. Okay. So, so far we have the first positive one. Now let's try x of 2. Let's see what that gives us. Equal to 2, two to the third is 8. So 8 thirds. And then four squi uh, uh, 2 squared is 4. So that's minus 28 over 2. Which we can write it as minus 14. Plus 2 times 6 is 12. All right, so that's equal to minus 2. Minus 2 plus 8 over 3. So that's uh, the LCD is 3 here, so 8 minus 6 over 3. So that's 2 thirds. Okay. So 2 thirds, that's definitely less than 17 over 6, right? So, so far the leader is the time value of 1, but we have to check all the time values, right? Including the 3 and 4. So let's check the position at 3, at the time value of 3. Substituting 3 there, we're going to get... We're going to get what? Uh, 27 over 3, so that's 9 minus, and then here we're going to get what? Uh, 9 times 7, 63 over 2 plus, and then what is that going to be? 18. Okay, so that's 27 minus 63 over 2, so that's going to be 54 minus 63 over 2 and that's going to be less than 0 right so we don't we don't even need to get the value of that we can disregard it less than 0 it means it's not even on the right it's, it's on the left the particle and now finally x of 4 let's check that notice um, it makes sense that um, uh, that the particle goes further to the left as we increase the time right it gets smaller and smaller right it, it was large then it's small then it's less than zero and this will be less than zero as well but let's check that just to be sure so that's uh as you can see that will be uh 64 over 3 minus and this will be 16 times 7 that's uh, 112 over 2, 16 over 2, so that's 8. So I'm just going to put minus 56. Okay, minus 56, and then plus, and this will be 24. So as you can see, this will be 64 over 3 minus, and then minus 32. You, you definitely know this is going to be less than 0, because 64 over 3 is less than... 32. All right, so it's definitely going to be less than zero. So that means the leader stays the leader. The time value, this is the greatest value. It's farthest to the right. The particle at t is equal to one. Okay, so this would be the correct answer. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.